Jimmy. I'm Jimmy. And this is my Tony. And um, you got to be on the lookout for another video because this is a little interview of a gigantic where he's talking about gigantic. Because this flat Tony meets 3D Tony. And then here's the interview in a minute. But you got to be on the lookout for another video because there's going to be more video footage of like interviews and flat Tony and 3D Tony uniting together for the first time. Really? I mean, really, are you done? Yeah. 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 Woo! How do you relate to your character, Walt? And Jacob? Do you um, relate to him? Yeah. Yeah. Um, on a musical sense, I can't say I know what he's going through in a sense that uh, I have. I don't have parents that are celebrities, so I don't know that is. But I mean, I know the industry is, which is cool because it's written where it shows the gritty parts. It shows the gritty parts yeah. of the industry. It shows the backstabbing. But he's just not one. To, he's not one to let down the wall. And I mean, that's how I can be kind of sometimes. But I think the most relation I have with them is the music, um, because it's a way to get out. It's a way to get out, free it out. However long you're recording, an hour or two. Get out of Hollywood, get out of anything you're thinking about, yeah. and just focus on music. So I think that's the, the biggest relationship with uh, Walt that I have, and I, I love it. Cool. So. so, have you finished season one of Gigantic? Yes, we finished that over a year ago, which is crazy. So I've been waiting on my bum for a year, which is annoying because I'm very impatient. But I'm yeah. psyched because it comes out right when I get back. Yeah. It comes out October 8th, and then also Unanswered Prayers coming out this November. Are they having a premiere thing? Well, we already, or? I mean, I don't really know. I, I know they had a couple parties, but I couldn't go because I was filming. Mm. Um, but really what I'm going to do is I, I'm, I'm really, really, really picky on who I watch it with just because I'm, oh, I'm really, really I'm, I'm so... Self, like, self I'm, Yeah, I mean, there's always there's always a couple scenes, you know, that some actors don't don't necessarily like or that, that's life, you know, that's, that's yeah. how it is. And, and the moral of a show is to get a message across, and I think yeah. Gigantic definitely gets that across. And so does Unanswered Purpose. So, uh, so yeah. A, so, yeah. The, the, the reason I love this show so much is that it really, um, it is, doesn't BS you. I mean, mm -hmm. don't, I hate watching shows that are completely cliche, completely unnecessary, and just stupid messages. I mean, yeah. I feel like I feel like that's the problem with a lot of society these days. That you know, don't have sex or don't do this. Yeah. Well, I'd rather see why. Why? What's going to happen to my life? And gigantic hits every point you could possibly imagine. Wow. So it it'll be a bumpy ride. Mm -hmm. It'll be a bumpy ride. The first episode, especially. Will leave you like, wow, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And blessed to be able to do Gigantic, which I hope goes on for seasons because mm -hmm. yeah. I would really like to know what happens season two. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Because season one, it's like Entourage. I mean, it really yeah. is. Each episode will leave you with a uh, a question as to what the hell just happened. <laughs> is it relatable and to Degrassi, like in the same sense? I feel like it's. I mean, I feel like it's relatable, but I feel like it's it, it gets you. I mean, I love Degrassi. I love it to death. I feel like. You go from a school, which is Degrassi, mm -hmm. and you go to Hollywood. And but the thing with yeah, it is true. that this we is show everything. Like we show, you know, we have we have amazing, amazing special guests. Oh really? Amazing special mm -hmm. guests, big oh. special guests. Um, and I will say, you know, half that part is because we have the writers of Weeds, we have the creators and writers of Mad Men. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, so I'm very excited. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So I'm I'm very excited. It'll be an hour hour long premiere. Yeah. Um, wow. And um, yeah, it's awesome to finally have a show I can DVR. So, yes. Yeah. So uh, so yeah. So I'm very excited about that. I need to get DVR, which I still don't have. <laughs>